In today's very easy level program, we will look at how to accept n integer values and print them in the reverse order. That is, if the input is 5, which means 5 integers are going to be passed as input 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, they will be printed in the reverse order. That is 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So, let's see how to implement the program. So, first we will accept the n. So, we know how many numbers are going to be passed as the input. So, only after obtaining n, we can declare the array because now we know the size. So, you must not declare this int array n before accepting the n. So, you should not be declaring before line 6, which will be incorrect, right? So, once you are accepting the n, you should declare the array. That is the most important point. Then I am declaring a variable index, which will point to the index in the particular array. So, now I have a for loop, index is equal to 0, index less than n, index plus plus. So, I will be accepting the input numbers at that specific index. Okay. So, now I have uh, accepted the input. Now, I am going to print in the reverse order. So, when accepting the input, I am traversing from 0 to n minus 1. That is the reason I have given index less than n or you can say index less than or equal to n minus 1. Both are fine because the array index starts from 0. When printing, all I need to do is I have to initialize the array index to n minus 1 because it is going in the reverse order. Then till index is greater than or equal to 0. I am not going to do index plus plus but I am going to do minus minus because it is decreasing from n minus 1 it is going to 0. Right? So index minus minus. I am printing the number with the space. Right? So array of index. So now this for loop from line number 12 to 14 will be printing in the reverse order. Here either you can use space or you can say slash t that is a tab both are fine right so now let us execute the program so it's printing in the reverse order